Next up, we've got the link field. Now, the link field is particularly useful for when you want different pieces of content to reference one another. So think of a blog post and a press release. They both very likely have an author, but whenever we're creating the model or the content for a blog post and for a press release, we don't always want to have the repetition of having a string field for the name, uh, a media field for the avatar, another text field for the description or the bio and so on and so forth. So what we do in this case is most likely have another model for an author where we have all of our possible authors and always reference these to the blog posts and uh, to the press releases. Now, links also come in two flavors. You've got a single link, which is the ability to, to link to a single record of another model. So taking the example of a blog post, it's very likely that you would have just the one author who's written that piece of content and we'd want to reference that post to the right author. And you've got multiple links, which is for when you want to link to multiple or a collection of external records. So in this case, if we think about something like an e-commerce storefront, let's say you've got a pair of chinos that could possibly exist in multiple collections. It's probably a vintage chino and it comes with prints and patterns and it's good for streetwear. I, I don't know, I'm terrible at fashion. Uh, but in, in essence, you'd want one record to link to multiple records of another entry, uh, of another model. Um, so to see what this looks like in practice and understand a bit more about the validations, why don't I let you folks listen to some elevator music while I quickly create three very simple bare bones uh, models and we can see how those links would work. Right. So here I've created a blog post, a press release, an author, and a tag. But I haven't, um, I haven't really gone into detail, so we don't have any fields for content and so on. Let's just stick to focusing on how links work for this one. Now let's assume we've got a field for content. Someone's written some beautiful stuff, uh, but we want to have authors and tags attached to this. So now we can go ahead and create a link to the authors and for the tags. In this case, let's go with the single link. Let's call it the author. And let's have this one accept only a specified model, in which case we have the author. Now, there are a few sort of um, warnings in place if you do a wrong operation on the content editing side, but we won't get into this. We'd also make this a required field since we wouldn't want blog posts to be published without an author. And at this moment, we don't need to keep this as a unique field because you can have the same author creating multiple posts. It's just that we want one author tied to a single post. On the presentation side, you have the option of having it as a compact or an expanded view. Now, there, this is going to be a lot clearer when we look at the content editing side and not the content modeling side of the CMS. But for now, let's just go with the expanded view and save this field. What we've done is create a single link, which means you can only reference one author. If you wanted to have, if you wanted to have two authors, this would have had to be a multiple link, which is what we will do for the tags. So you can always, or not always, but usually have multiple tags per blog post. This could be things like announcements, company news, uh, anything depending on, on how your project is structured. So here, let's go ahead and choose multiple links and call them tag and under the validation again we would specify that we only want this to accept the tag uh, the tag model we can also have a specified number of records in this case since you can have more than one so let's assume that the, the the grid for the blog posts on our front end has maybe three columns we want to have three call uh, we want to have a maximum of three tags so here we can also have no more than three making sure that even though we have multiple records that can be referenced we would stop at three or the or the post wouldn't be able to be published and just for the sake of having a difference, let's go with the compact view for tags. So when we take a look at content editing in the future, we can see what the difference is in terms of visibility for the editors. And that's the link field.